Hey everybody and welcome to my first patch rundown. Season 8 arrived two weeks ago and now Riot decided to do some minor balance changes for the first time this season with the 7.23 patch. The main part of this patch is Zoe of course. She will be available later this patch. I don't see the point of explaining her in this video to be honest. That would be quite off topic in my opinion. Just check out other videos from different YouTubers to get some more information about her or just wait for some days until she's there and experience it yourself. And thanks for the feedback on my last videos. I'll continue the way I'm going right now. I'll also read every single comment, if negative or positive feedback. I just don't care about insults or similar stuff. So all feedback is highly appreciated. As I already mentioned in the last videos, I do have an exam on Monday. So unfortunately I can't guarantee to bring out a new tip video for this week. They take quite some time to edit. If I can't make it happen, then there's going to be a gameplay or something like that by the end of the weekend. Enough for now and let's focus on the little patch now. First of all there are some minor buffs or changes, which are not mainly caused by the runes and the mastery changes. To compensate the nerfs Gragas got before, Riot decided to give Gragas an innate bonus attack speed to help out his jungle clear. They did similar stuff to Amumu or Maokai before. And Jinx got a new effect on her E, which now eventually stops all movement abilities of the opponent she rooted. Also Riot is trying to bring Talia back, by giving her a little health and armor growing buff. And now let's go on with the changes, which are actually caused by the runes and the mastery changes. Ramos is a CC and tank monster, therefore people started spamming the aftershock keystone on him. Keep in mind, this keystone deals adaptive damage when you immobilize or just CC an opponent. The amount of hard CC he has is unusual for most of the gems. That's why this keystone works so good on him and makes him so strong. Instead of changes to the keystone, Riot instead tries to influence his survivability by nerfing his armor from 40 to 36. Shyvana became a monster last patch. Her win rate kind of exploded. To equalize the strength of her attack speed builds, Riot decided to nerf her damage. That the influence of the attack speed isn't as high as it was before. All of the upcoming stuff could already change before this patch came out today. Riot didn't want to wait longer and did some little patches in between. Did you see or play Ivan last patch? Hell no. There's like no keystone you could use for him. You usually went for wind speakers, which unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. Therefore, they buffed his E to equalize that. Nunu is also missing Stormbomb Pact and they fixed Orn's bonus E damage. Sona of course experiences the biggest change this patch is so far. It just felt amazing to play her with the new keystones. Her win rate also exploded because of that. Therefore she eventually gets the biggest nerf so far, which mainly influences her laning phase power. And now to the keystones itself. Summon Eri gets a little nerf, while Predator gets buffed. They also added a little bonus effect to the zombie ward, which now gives you 1 gold. There are also some little changes to towers to avoid lane swaps and perma tower pushing, you can for example often see in the LCS. They now got 300 bonus health, minions deal 10% more damage to them and they get a little speed buff, which will be revealed later this patch. Last but not least for this video there is also a little change for the first win of the day, which now only gives 400 XP and 50 blue essence. 175 XP for 50 blue essence? I don't know about that change to be honest. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. There are also some visual updates, some more effects for the gem select and they reactivate battle boosts for arms later this patch. Also you can now watch challenger games to improve. Of course there are also a lot of bug fixes, a new game mode called overcharge and the three new project skins project Jin, Vayne and Y and some more additional emotes. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick patch rundown. All feedback is highly appreciated and if you want longer and more detailed videos, just let me know. I wish you a good rest of the week and of course a wonderful day. Bye!